Good afternoon. We are graduate students from the University of Houston at Conrad Hilton College of Hotel and Restaurant Management. Today we will be presenting our service analysis of Mambo Seafood at the Hillcroft Bel Air location. First, we would like to introduce our team. We have myself, Sophia Ortega, Izzo Zhang, Vic Patel, Donique Mullings, and Lily Wang. Today's presentation will cover the following topics. The history of Mambo seafood, the methodology used for our analysis, Mambo's core values, the brand identity prism, semiotic square, our analysis of online reviews, the serve qual model and gap analysis, and finally our recommendations for improvement. We would like to begin by giving a brief history of Mambo's. The first Mambo's opened in 1996, serving a variety of seafood dishes with American, Latin, and Pacific influences. Mambo's found success among the Hispanic community and began expanding to neighborhoods of Southwest and North Houston. Mambo's now operates 11 successful locations throughout Houston, McAllen, Baytown, and Katy, Texas. Next, we would like to outline the methods used in our analysis. Our research is based on over 75 hours of on-site observations, 250 randomly selected reviews over the past two years from Google, Facebook, and Yelp, and questionnaires answered by talking with the staff. After gathering up all the research, we use the brand identity prism, semiotic square, serve qual model, and gap analysis to present our information. In our research, we found the core values of Mambo Seafood to be affordability. This is a very important core value for Mambo's because they pride themselves on being a restaurant where everyone is welcome, regardless of their income. Freshness. Since Mambo is serving seafood at very low prices, they want their customers to know that even though their food is very affordable, it is still fresh and of great quality. Inclusivity. Similar to affordability, everyone is welcome here. Whether you're bringing your entire family or you're getting a drink after work, everyone and anyone can eat here. Finally, diversity. Mambo's represents a fusion of many cultures because it has American, Latin, and Pacific influences throughout their menu. Mambo's mission statement brings all of these core values together by serving fresh seafood for everyone at incredibly affordable prices. Now we would like to show you our brand identity prism, which is a tool that allows us to put a human face on the Mambo's brand. The first facet of the prism is physique which represents the tangible aspects of the brand. We describe Mambo's as bright, energetic, and Latin. The logo is colorful, the restaurant is consistently busy throughout the day, and there is a Latin influence in the music, food, and art. Next, we have relationship. The relationship describes how the brand communicates with their consumer. Mambo's has a very relaxed, familiar, and straightforward relationship with their customers because there are a lot of regulars who know the staff very well, and vice versa. The third facet is reflection. Reflection represents the ideal consumer the brand is targeting. We describe Mambo's reflection as blue collar, Hispanic, and family because of the brand's large Hispanic customer base, specifically among Hispanic families and men getting drinks after work with friends. Next, we have personality, which comes from the expression of the owner's personal character traits through the brand. We describe Mambo's as casual, humble, and fusion. The restaurant is laid back and simple, and the owner is of Asian descent, so you see a lot of Asian influence throughout the menu. Next, we have culture. The words we chose to describe the culture are community, affordability, and sporty. There's a strong Hispanic community at Mambo's, but at the same time, all are welcome. There are also plenty of TVs in the restaurant to watch sports games. Finally, we have self-image. This describes how the customers feel after interacting with the brand. We describe the feeling as pleased, economical, and cozy. When you eat at Mambo's, you know you're getting great food as well as a great deal, and many people feel very comfortable like they are at home. Next, we created a semiotic square for Mambo's. This is a tool used to identify the brand's different consumer groups. The vertical lines show complementary relationships between groups. On the left, we have our first spectrum, the fishometer. This measures how much a customer enjoys seafood. On the right side, we have cost sensitivity. This measures how sensitive a customer is to price. From top to bottom on the left side, we have the pescatarians. 
These are individuals who go to Mambo's because of how much they love seafood. On the bottom, we have the Seaphobics. These are customers who don't enjoy seafood, so they go to Mambo's for their non-seafood menu items. On the right side from top to bottom, we have the Bargain Hunters. These individuals are very sensitive to price and go to Mambo's because they know they can get a large quantity of food for an affordable price. On the bottom, we have the Spendthrifts. These are customers who are not worried about price at all and are pleasantly surprised by the prices offered at Mambo's. At the top of the square, we have our target customer, which is the Mambo Nifico Cliente. This customer loves seafood and is extremely attracted to the low price. On the bottom of the square, we have our hidden customer group, which is the Chow Hound. This customer doesn't like seafood and is not concerned about price. They overall just love good food and are tagging along with their friends to Mambo's. After analyzing the Mambo's brand, we shifted our attention to the specific Mambo restaurant for which we are analyzing service. Our research is based on over 1,900 reviews from Google, which had an average of 4.1 stars, 161 reviews from Yelp, which had an average of 3.5 stars, and 292 reviews from Facebook, which had an average of 4.3 stars. Our group randomly selected 250 reviews from these three sources from the past two years for a 90% confidence level when analyzing the service at Mambo's. For top reviews, 70% of customers gave Mambo's an average of 5 stars, and 20% gave an average of 4 stars. Overall, 90% of reviews were positive. Specifically, 80% of customers mentioned they liked the food taste, especially the micheladas and the fried rice. 50% gave top reviews because of the low price, and 25% left good reviews for the Latin decor or the patio. For poor reviews, 4% of customers gave Mambo's an average of 3 stars, 3% gave an average of 2 stars, and 3% gave an average of 1 star. Overall, 10% of the reviews were negative. Specifically, 60% of customers gave poor reviews for staff demeanor, 60% gave poor reviews for slow service, and 20% gave poor reviews for overcrowding. SurfQual is a customer-based evaluation process in which performance is divided into categories. The first category we evaluated was tangibles. Overall, customers liked the decor of Mambo's, especially the pescaderia, but some felt like the restaurant is often crowded and there's a long wait to be seated. We also evaluated responsiveness. Many customers feel like there's often a long wait for food and the overall staff demeanor was unsatisfactory. The gap analysis is used to identify mixed matches between customer expectations and customer perceptions. The first gap appears when the service is poorly designed or your customers have an unrealistic expectation. An example of this at Mambo's would be the issue of overcrowding. Gap 2 occurs when the organization fails to deliver what they have promised or the customer perceptions fail to align with their expectations. Here we have the issues of the overall staff demeanor at Mambo's and the timeliness of food delivery. To address the issues found in our analysis, we have come up with some recommendations. First, we recommend a shift to the conventional restaurant seating style, which requires hiring a host to seat customers. The host can hand out pagers to waiting customers and ensure they do not take a table that is larger than necessary. This will help reduce the overcrowding that occurs at the front of the restaurant. Next, we recommend assigning sections to the waiters. This will help reduce food delivery time as waiters will not be as overwhelmed and they won't waste time running around various parts of the restaurant. We also recommend that managers hold daily pre-shift meetings. This will improve the staff demeanor by reminding them daily of service expectations such as greeting every table, asking the customers if this is their first time at Mambo's, and if so, briefly explaining the menu to them. Finally, we recommend that waiters present comment cards to customers along with the check. Here, customers will be able to rate the service on a 1 to 5 scale and briefly explain their score. The waiter with the highest score at the end of the week will receive benefits such as a better schedule or the busiest waiter station. This will help incentivize the staff to consistently deliver better service. We believe these changes can fix the issues Mambo's is facing due to its service, as well as increase customer turnaround, creating a win-win situation. 
That concludes our presentation on Mambo Seafood. We'd like to thank everyone for listening and especially thank Robert McKinley for being here today.